It's official. Aldi is now Australia's most profitable supermarket retailer. New data has also placed the discount chain as the favourite to win the cost-cutting war. To talk about this today, we're joined by retail expert Dr Brian Walker. Dr Brian, sales are expected to grow 15%. Is this right for Aldi? Absolutely. Do you know, for the last few years, and really going back in time, over 85 cents in the Australian supermarket dollar was spent in Coles or Woolworths. Now, Aldi are growing 10% market share, 150 stores to be built in the western, South Australia, Western Australia, up to 300 Eastern Seaboard. Big growth. Why so quickly? Because they've got a good model, consumers like it, and consumers are getting more and more used to it now. Mm -hmm. And um, they're highly profitable because they're tight range, high private label, and people are starting to look at Aldi yeah. as being a serious competitor. So this poses a serious threat to the big two Coles and Woolies. So is this a good or a bad thing for the consumer? It's all about choice. Retail is about choice. And it's about consumers making choices. And Aldi are putting an offer out there, Dave, that's saying, guys, we're good, we're strong, we're competitive, and consumers are moving there. Well, just from a perception perspective, because it does play such a big role, doesn't mm. it, with Coles, Woolworths, now Aldi, what is the perception? What image does Aldi have in the community? I think Aldi has an image very much... Initially, it was very much about price savings. Now it's about... What's going on at Aldi? We've got the weekly specials. They're, they're bringing in branded products like wheat picks and products like that. They're convenient and they're aggressive in their pricing. Um, interesting that they are the most profitable. And Coles and Woolworths for many years have been, by world standards, mm -hmm. the most profitable supermarkets in the world, or certainly up there. Now Aldi are coming in and they're undercutting them. And uh, that's the perception I haven't gone are to an Aldi yet. Is that a bad confession to make? No. Have you been yet? Yes. How is it? It's, it's fine. Because I'm very much barnacled onto the main two. <laughs> not, in a, not in a negative way, but that's just what I'm used to and they're sure. nearby and with and the kids that's and exactly stuff. the perception of so many Aussies out there. But they're having a bit of a look now. Should I have a look, Sonny? Go and have a look, absolutely. Go and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> look, despite its popularity, though, Aldi is still struggling uh, to get people like me in to do the big shop. The so, big shop. The big so, weekly uh, shop. Yeah, that's and, right. and, so, and that's what I feel like. I felt like people go, oh, I just got this great coffee machine from Aldi. I'm like... OK, I don't need a coffee machine, but I'm, I'm looking for my groceries. So what improvements do they need to make to really, really start knocking on the door of the big two? Fresh food, David. That's what yeah. they've got to aim at. They've got to get that fresh food offer right. They've got to get you and I spending more, staying longer and eating their fresh food. And that's what they're doing. They're trialling some stores and that's what we're going to see happen. Right, OK. Well, Brian, thanks uh, so much for coming in today. It's a good thing. You know, I'm just going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. I think yes, it's a good thing. I'll Look, give my, it a go this my week. My sister actually raves about the quiche there for some reason. So the quiche? The quiche at Aldi. <laughs> wow. Give it a try. And let's not forget their winter ski gear. They've oh, got, see, that's okay. what gets Didn't me. Even that's what I don't understand. I want to go for a shop, <laughs> not for some skis. They've got winter ski gear. That's a big I'm going to go have a look. I, I, you know what? I promise everybody, I'm going to go have a look this week and I'll do my own Aldi report. And oh. I'll let you know what I think. Because <laughs> yeah, I'll, be uh, I'll be a reporter. Man Thanks, on Dave. the ground. Now, to ensure that you're getting the best deals at the checkout, visit allprices.com.au. Hi, my name is Brian Walker, CEO and founder of Retail Looking Group. Retailing today is about changing, changing faster than your competitors. Contact us on retaildoctor.com.au to see how the leaders do it.